The Hungry Holler Art Center in Uchi is hard to miss. The bicycles hanging from the tree at the entrance tip you off that something different waits inside. In her studio, Jan Meng is working on her latest creation. Jan is an artist, but beyond that, she's a gordophile. That's a fancy name for someone who likes gourds. They're wonderful. They're like the world's first Tupperware. I like them because they're organic, they're useful, they're eternal in human scale. The ones you keep indoors can last thousands of years. In fact, gourd using cultures consider them heirlooms and they pass them down through the generations, the favorite gourds. And that's how I feel about them. So if they're gonna be forever, I want them to be fabulous. And fabulous they are. In the gallery, her painted gourds take some really unusual turns. But except for the occasional bottle cap attached to them, they are gourd through and through. You know, all of these are gourd components. This is gourd, the nose and everything, and uh, it's a process of gluing and, and different things I gotta do. This is, this is all gourd here. My beloved bottle caps, the ears are gourd pieces. This is all gourd up here. And Jan can go on and on about gourds. And I have thought about this long and hard. It's, it's an intellectual pursuit for me as well. I, uh, you know, I've studied it and investigated it and researched it and, and uh, you know, gourds came to this part of the world probably 10,000 years ago along with dogs from Asia and, uh, you know, I find that just so interesting. It's, if you love what you're doing and you love your, I don't know, you love your canvas, I guess you find out everything you can about it. Jan isn't the only artist at Hungry Holler. Her husband, Mark, also claims an unusual identity. I am the Zen Spoon Master, uh, and that's self-proclaimed. And proclaimed for a good reason. Mark makes spoons, but not just any old spoons. Mark uses about 80 different types of wood, and some of the spoons are really art. Along with his feathered friend, Tootsie, Mark has created thousands of collectible and usable spoons. I cut them out with a jigsaw and then I sit down and I shape them uh, and everyone comes out different. I might make 500 of one kind of spoons but you won't be able to find a match set. Mark also does wood sculptures. He's largely responsible for the spontaneous art pieces that dot the landscape at Hungry Holler. Near the shores of Grand Lake, the Mengs have created, uh, well, most unusual things. 